Well, the greatest movie ever sold, we had Morgan Spurlock on the programme a couple of weeks ago. So the deal is Morgan Spurlock makes a movie about the way that f movies are nowadays financed by product placement, the gag being that he finances his movie entirely by product placement. So rather than it being called The Greatest Movie Ever Sold, the film is in fact called Pom Wonderful Presents Colon, The Greatest Movie Ever Sold, because in selling the movie about the selling of movies, he sells the above the title sponsorship rights. So they actually get titular credit. Here's a, cr here's a clip. The way that I you know, want to see Palm, or when we first see Palm in the movie, or find out you guys are on, is we get the call, you know, maybe you guys are going to be in, he, we're going to do it, we want to be the official beverage, and so then every other beverage automatically in the movie is blurred out. Mm. <laughs> That's great. We will never see another beverage in the movie. Every other thing will start to become blurry except for Palm. You know, there's been all those times where there's been product placement in movies and integration. Well, we want to take it one step further, where we want to be the first movie ever to actually have 30 second commercials right in the middle of the film. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna shoot we're gonna shoot commercial spots. There'll be three spots throughout the film. As I said, our top three sponsors, uh, the above the title sponsors and the other two, which will have 30 second spots, of which Palm would be a great commercial. And we have some really good ideas that we could do something with that. So the idea is a good one. And actually the funny thing with Morgan Spurlock is his films are pretty much as good as the as good as the idea. You know, the pitch idea is everything. It's like you remember that there was that 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 um it may have been um Alan Partridge when he's trying to come up with TV shows and it's you know uh, monkey tennis monkey tennis, monkey yeah. tennis exactly he's desperate for the recommission that's right exactly and monkey or, or a, par you know, a, 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 a partridge among the pigeons or whatever a partridge in a pear tree and he says great what is it I don't know it's just a title in the case of this it is it, with, with Morgan Spurlock it pretty much all comes down to whether or not the single idea works so in the case of Super Size Me can you live for however long it is just eating McDonald's that's a good idea I get that in the case of this can you make a movie about product placement in movies financed entirely by product placement in movies fine I get that in between we've had things like where in the world is Osama bin Laden which didn't work because it's it, it's just the gag doesn't work as well so in a way this is a kind of return to form for him after I mean to supersize me is what 2004 although I was looking now he's, he's had he's had producer credits on loads and loads of things I mean he's he's, he's thanked I mean he's, he's got a producer executive producer credit on Czech Dream which is very good he was uh, he gets a credit on Gasland so there's other he gets special thanks credit on Gasland so there's other stuff that he's done in between in the case of this it is funny and I mean it is it's crucial with Morgan Spurlock movies that you that that you find them funny and entertaining because they are, he is a comedian as much as he is a you know as a documentary filmmaker. So I did laugh. There are you know, there's, a, there's a couple of very good gags in it, particularly all the stuff with mane and tail, which is that whilst you know walking around a a, a, a store, he finds this product called mane and tail, which which is okay for washing horses and also okay for washing human hair it's a bit like the ad that we had a you know why take two bottles into the shower exactly yeah, I mean, it's just you know the, the, the assumption that there is someone somewhere that showers with their horse yes but that all the and, and then it all comes together in, in a ridiculous scene in which he is indeed bathing a small shetland pony and realizing that he can use it so, so all that stuff works well the most important thing about it however is that it does two things firstly it moves things on simply from the product placement into a discussion about uh, about partnerships, about basically movies and uh, the uh, and, and the products with which they are involved, essentially supporting each other. And he talks about the way in which their their respective advertisements advertise each other. So one of the things he said when he came on the program was that through all these people that he's got to sponsor his movie, he also had access effectively to their publicity, and that was another way that the movie. Goes. So that's quite interesting because it takes it beyond just what you know about product placement. The other thing is he said. You know, having seen this movie, you won't see product placement in movies and not notice it anymore. And if there is a if there is a moral in all this, it's simply that you should notice the product placement.